Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the app Motion Detector, which pretty much is what it sounds like it is, but it works great. Right before I do get to that, I want to remind you that this review is sponsored in part by andytags.com. So head over to andytags.com after the review, check out the cool Android themed NFC stickers and tags and find out just what kind of cool stuff you can do with NFC over there. So anyway, motion detector. Uh, I needed a motion detector for my tablet and I didn't think such a thing existed, but I thought, hey, why not look and see, and I fell upon this app on the Play Store. It had good reviews, so I gave it a try and found out that it actually works. It's pretty brilliant. Um, I'm going to show you what it is, all the different settings it has, how it works, and uh, yeah, all that good stuff. So let's jump on my tablet so that I can show you exactly how Motion Detector works and uh, why it's something that I think if you're in... You know, if you're looking for something like this, this is definitely the app you want to use. Right here, the little binoculars. This is the uh, motion detector app. So let's tap that and open it up. I'm just going to show you the various uh, features of the app before I show you how it works. Um, this is detection. This is your start button right here. Uh, you have options. If you turn picture on, then you can have it set to take a picture. Uh, when it detects motion, you can change. Oh, sorry. You can change how many frames should be registered. Right here. You can choose uh, save frame, add to gallery if you want. Uh, date. You can have it print the event time and date on every frame. Uh, rotate images to natural position of device. So you can do that. It says it may degrade performance, but you can never do that. Um, lapse, so captures images every sp specified time, independently of motion. So you can have it set to take pictures ever so often, uh, regardless of the motion. And then you can set what, what uh, folder you want those pictures uh, to be saved in. And you can set a limit, storage use limit. Now you can also uh, upload photos. Oh, I don't have that set up. I'll show you that in settings. You can set up and so when we go to settings, you'll see you can set up a place to upload post or email uh, photos to, and then you can uh, and events, and then you can turn these features on once you have them set up. First, you have to set them up. If you click this, it'll show you the pictures you have, which is an empty list right now because I don't have it take pictures, but as you'll see in a minute what I use it for. Um, signal, so you can have it uh, play a sound whenever it detects motion. Um, you can choose your sound. You can have it if you want. You can have the volume set to maximum value anytime it detects motion and plays that sound. And you can choose to have the sound loop if you want to until you hit pause. So you could have it, uh, you know, if you want to use this to take a picture and make a sound, whatever, you can have it do all of those things. Um, e events. So if you have that selected, then it'll uh, uh, log every time there's an event. And then if you were to click this, if there were any, you would see it. Um, I don't use that feature either, but it is there for you. Now here to me is the coolest feature is notification send. And what this does is this sends an intent um, from the uh, app anytime motion is detected if you have it turned on and what's so cool about that well tasker can receive that intent which means you can have this set to anytime motion is detected it triggers a tasker task and for those of you who follow my channel you know that uh, I am a tasker guy and tasker is awesome because you can just do literally millions of different things with tasker so by sending that intent to Tasker and having Tasker sense it, you could have Tasker trigger all kinds of stuff based on uh, motion, which is very, very, very cool. So I'm um, going back up to the top. If you hit the little settings button, 
uh, you can uh, uh, use uh, you can change different uh, uh, features of it the detector you can have it uh, you know delay when it starts scanning when you first turn it on you know because you may be going to turn it on and then set it up somewhere so you want it to actually start a minute later or whatever suspend so when motion is detected it suspends scanning for a certain amount of time before it starts back uh, sensitivity you can have it uh, change the level of sensitivity the detector resolution and the noise filter um, reduce the set minimum time between scanning each frame so basically I don't think I explained this basically what this app does it uses your camera um, there are some quote unquote motion sensor apps that try to use your light sensor and that does not work very well especially for motion that's far away um, that may detect motion like the light sensor uh, is usually up near the top of your phone or tablet and you know it may sense a slight change in light um, you know if you put your phone to your ear but it's not going to detect just motion in a room this uses the camera and it just it basically takes a picture scans it takes a picture scans it takes a picture scans it and it's looking for changes between pictures when there's a change from one picture to the next obviously something has moved therefore motion um, and it, I don't know how it does it so well, but it does. It works really, really well. Um, definitely uh, the way to go as opposed to trying to use the light sensor, which uh, doesn't work well for motion detection at all. Um, trigger, so the, you have a counter, you can trigger uh, how many events will trigger reactions. Um, expiration time, so you can change the event expiration time. Interval, the minimum wait time between each event. And then camera, you can select which camera to use, the front or the rear. I'm using the front for what I use it for. Uh, resolution, the image resolution processed by recorder. Um, it does uh, uh, let you know that if you increase the resolution, it may reduce the scan rate. Uh, so I leave it to just the default. Uh, and then exposition sets the exposure compensation and exposure lock. So if you hit that, it actually opens up your camera, so you can see you can uh, change the exposure if you need to based on where you're setting this up. And then zone, same thing. You can actually change the uh, zone of where it's looking for motion. So if you only want it to look at motion in this half of where the camera is, then you can change that, or you can have it do the whole image. And uh, then other auto starts, so you can have it set so that the uh, detector will be activated automatically as soon as you open the app. And notification, this is if you want to have a notification in your notification bar whenever the, dete the detector is active. And I do have that checked because I do use that. So, uh, you know, this, obviously I'm demonstrating this on my tablet, but it also does work for your, uh, uh, will work for your phone as well. And then if you click the menu button, that's to donate. Uh, Yet yeah, this app is free. As cool as, as it is, um, the developer was nice enough to basically make it available for free. But you can donate, um, which if you get the app and you use it, you should because it's an awesome app. And that's uh, about it. I'm going to show you how it works or what I use it for. Uh, I use it with a tasker uh, program I created as a sign-in for open houses. Um, I do open houses as a realtor, and so I have my tablet set up for people to sign in and I wanted it so that when people walked into the room or walked uh, came into the house it would detect motion and it would uh, speak and basically welcome them and hopefully get them to sign in so uh, I needed a way to trigger that with motion and I used this and it triggers a task or task so uh, I'm gonna turn that on you'll see and you see how many events now if I move my hand in front of the camera see two events five events because I went I moved my hand in front of the camera, it uh, uh, detected events, and now I'm kind of moving around to so detecting events. But anyway, uh, and you'll see right here, motion detector, motion detector is active. And then uh, the reason my 
screen just dimmed is because it detected motion and it sent that over to Tasker. If I trigger this, uh, this is my my Tasker thing. So it's running and it just triggered an event so it got bright again. For some reason every now and again Tasker has an issue with my text-to-speech engine so that's why you just saw that little message down there uh, saying TTS issue and then it gets dim and then when it detects motion again it gets bright and it would be speaking a phrase except obviously Tasker is having an issue with my text-to-speech engine right now but uh, that's the way it works um, you can see it works so now it's dim someone walks into my open house and the camera senses that they walked in and boom it gets bright again uh, I will say that the farther away they are it works better when you are a little bit closer, but unlike the light sensor, you don't have to be right beside it. I'm going to move my hand now behind the camera, and you see it triggered it. So, that's, uh, that's, the, uh, that's how it works. Let me get back into turn the settings. I need to go into Tasker to stop that task from running. Um, I will show you. There's the Tasker task. So, uh, go to the profiles and you'll see motion detect is what I named the profile. And it's basically intent received is the profile trigger for those of you who want to use this with, with Tasker. And then you have to type in this specific uh, intent. And uh, you can find this information through the app or through the app website uh, if you want it. Um, or you can put me a message down there and I'll put it I mean, maybe I'll put it in the description for you but anyway that's you can use that intent from the app to trigger something so if I turn this on it would trigger right now because uh, I do have the motion sensor active but I have it turned off so it's not going to do anything and then if I go into the motion detector you'll see the motion detector itself is still running uh, when I want to turn it off I simply tap that button and now the motion detector has been disabled and it's off so anyway, uh, that's motion detector. Uh, as you can see, it works really well. Um, you know, there's a lot of fun, cool things you could do with this. If you wanted to put a tablet on your wall and have it detect whenever you come into the room and turn on and say hello to you or whatever, and then you can use it for stuff. Anyway, lots of fun things you can do, and then also practical things like using it for sign-in at an open house. But that's the app motion detector was motion detector as you can see it's a really cool app a lot of cool built-in features maybe uh, most importantly the fact that it actually integrates with tasker which then would allow you to trigger millions of things based on uh, detecting motion um, and it works really well um, it was really well uh, well made app so anyway, that is it for this review. If you like this review, please click the like button. If you know anyone who would be interested either in this app, uh, whether to use it or just to know about it because it's so cool, then share it with them on Reddit, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, whatever way you want. They're all down there. Pick your poison. Uh, check out my channel for lots of other uh, Tasker tutorial series, uh, other Android app reviews, even product reviews, NFC reviews, things like that. Um, subscribe to my channel or subscribe to this playlist if you just want to keep up with Android app reviews. And uh, that is about it. Until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.